What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the RP series and in this episode we'll set up our player zooming system. It's gonna be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we want is to set up two events in our player blueprint. So let's go into our third person folder, go into blueprints and open up our third person character blueprint. And basically we are going to create two new events so let's find a spot i guess that in the kind of top right over here will be okay i'm gonna right click create a new custom event and we can call this something as just start swimming all right so in order to set up our character swimming system we are going to take advantage of the uh, characteristics that the character movement component from unreal engine has so what we can do is just drag our character movement component and they will have this built-in thing which is the get physics volume and we can just turn this on to the set water volume and this will mean that we will enter in our swimming mode and then what we can do is create our own variable just called you know is swimming something along those lines and then we can just go ahead and drag it and set it to true and with that said we are good to go let's just right click create another custom event and this will be the opposite so stop swimming and now what we can do is just copy those nodes paste them and the only thing that we have to change is going to be this to be unchecked and this unchecked very important remember to uncheck them you know all right so now we can just compile save and let's quickly just select everything press c to make a comment and just you know name it the swimming system something like that now you will see that initially is very simple and it is it's very simple because we're going to take advantage of a lot of built-in and real you know events so now what we need to do is of course call this events whenever we need because if i press play nothing will happen so what we're going to do is go into our levels folder and open up our desert map which is where we have our current lake right so let's go ahead and just load our map in there we go as you can see here we have our little oasis that we have been building through the last episodes with our water so what we need to do is make sure that when we let me just right click plume from here to just show you when we enter in the water okay we will basically transition into our swimming states and we'll basically start to swim so let's go and convert this lake into a blueprint that we can put some simple logic into so let's just go ahead and select it in our level which is this water body lake and what we can do is with this selected and in the details panel we can just click this blueprint um, button and this will convert this simple actor in the level into a blueprint so just leave everything as default so new subclass selected by the water body lake and now we can just rename this to be something as bp underscore water body lake and of course save this blueprint in our blueprints folder where it should be with that said we can just click select and it will create and open up that blueprint don't worry if it disappears for a second okay it will come back if i use play from here you will see that um it won't actually appear and that's <laughs> that's because we have to uh, basically um refresh it so if we just click compile on here and then here and just move one of our spline points slightly well not of uh, there we go so we just need to update it okay you just move it slightly and then control set and it will be uh, back to normal as you can see. All right, so now what we need to do is, you know, put some and uh, make sure that you still have the landscape affected with uh, everything, okay? Cool, so let's now go into our water body lake and as you can see, if we go to the event graph, we can get rid of the begin play, we don't need that, and the event tick. The only thing that we need here is the event actor begin overlap. That's basically when another actor basically collides with this actor, which is the water. So in this case, let's also add another event, which is the stop overlap. Um, stop, uh, what was it? Um, overlap, 
event actor and overlap right it's not stop is end and basically let's check that if this is the player so hashtag player make a branch so if the actor entering is the player indeed let me copy and paste this also for when we leave just to make sure that of course we are working with a player what we need to do on here is just go and um, cast to our player character so cast to the third person character and on here we need to do is call our handy node that we created which is the start swimming and now we can do exactly the same thing is copy and paste this but of course with the opposite once again remember very important to connect the other actor into object and now we can call our stop swimming event now with that said we should be good to go now maybe there's some things that we need to touch but let's go back here as you can see when we touch the blueprint it does um need to refresh so just basically move the water press ctrl z and then we'll be back in place so now we can just play from here and you will see just leave my pc loading okay um that if we go into the water it's very laggy no don't worry um it's now good to go and i jump uh well we actually are not um colliding yet okay uh let's just make some prints to make sure that everything is working so after this we can just basically print um you know swimming and on the other one uh, not casting but printing and then stop swimming right so we can uh be, be sure and of course make sure they have the tag player in it uh which we don't have so actually that's why it didn't work we need to add the uh player tag into our player so we'll go into class defaults search for tag and now under the text we can just add one which will be for player i, I believe uh, we did add it before that's why all right so now with that said let's just compile say go back as you can see every time that we do a change yes we need to kind of move it update i don't know why this is happening it didn't happen before but anyway just move it and press ctrl set to put it back in place this is kind of updating the water anyway so now when we enter we should have swimming as you can see print and if i jump or whatever um uh, you can see i stopped the input and it kind of keeps going basically the the character controller is kind of a bit messed up right it's kind of walking sliding it, it's doing some weird things and now it just stopped swimming but it's still a, a bit you know a bit weird and yeah because we need to uh, change some stuff okay so what we are going to do is make sure that we can have input when we are swimming because well right now we are not so make sure to get the add movement input is copy and paste it down and we just need to get the control rotation all right and just basically get the forward vector because we want to go forward and just plug that in and it will go in the swimming option and then we just need to put the y-axis on here okay so with that said let's make some room for it that will be when it's swimming so now we should be able to move of course because before we don't have any input if we are in the swimming mode right but now we go here so you can see we're swimming and i can stop moving everything and you can see that it's not really swimming but if i kind of yeah you can see it kind of bugs out and you kind of keep going okay so there's a few things that we have to basically go and change another thing that i want to do is change uh the mode because i believe it isn't changing just by changing the physics volume so what you need to do is just get the character movement component and just set the movement mode over here to be in this case swimming and in the other case it will basically go ahead and be uh used um walking right as we just want to go back to uh normal all right so now with that said there's also some properties that we can touch but let's give this also another go so if i select play from here and just don't worry about the fps is loading as you can see now when i go into my swimming system i can now indeed go into my swimming mode and i can just go whenever i want but of course the animations are not correct so it looks pretty bad but we are entering 
in our, you know, kind of swimming mode. And we should be able to exit, right? And we go back to normal. So that is working. So what I want to do now is make sure to change the animation so we can get really the, the feedback that we're swimming because it's gonna change a lot on how we view this. So let's go back into our content folder, go into our characters folder, go into the RPG character folder, animations, and now just right click, new folder, swimming, open up this, and now basically we have to import this to simple animations that I'll be linking in the description. So just go ahead and drag them into our content browser, close this, make sure to reset the default just in case. And now what we need to do is select the SK mannequin, okay? Not the SK mannequin skeleton, but the SK mannequin for Unreal Engine 5. Now just say import all, and the few seconds, we should have our animations in. So we have the swimming forward. <laughs> we look with all the armor and stuff. It looks cool. And then also our swimming idol. Great. So basically what we need to do is create a blend space so we can, you know, go ahead and transition between the idol and forward as we have done already multiple times. So just right click, go to animation, go down into legacy and create a blend space. When these are, if it's like it's just compiling shaders, I don't know, it's all the time it's just compiling shaders. Let's select the mannequin and just rename this to be the swimming blend space, okay? And now we can just open the swimming blend space and also another thing that to do is in the water body lake, go into the um, class defaults and then you search for tick and then let's disable, uh, start with tick enabled because that will, um, you know, be working on the background. We don't want that. All right, so now let's go back into our swimming blend space. I'm gonna set the horizontal axis to be speed. I'm gonna briefly explain this because of course, we have done multiple blend spaces throughout this series. So now, the max speed will be the max amount of speed, which will be around 300 when we are swimming because we'll swim a bit slower than when we run, right? And now we're gonna search in the as a browser for a swimming idle, put it at the left and then swim forward at the right. So now if we hold left uh, control and move the mouse along, we can see that it will transition from our different animation states. So now we can close this and we just need to go into our animation blueprint. Once again, we updated the blueprint, so just move a bit the uh, water, press Ctrl C to put it back in place and that's it. It's just a kind of thing. It's weird stuff, I know. <laughs> All right, so now what I need to do is just go into the RPG character animations folder and open up the animation blueprint, which is the one in charge of all of this. And now let's go into the main and then graph where we have everything. I'm gonna go into the main state machine. As you can see in here, we have all the different locomotion for crouch, climbing for the arrow. So let's just go ahead and right click, create a new state, and let's call this just, of course, swimming locomotion. And now what we can do is double click on this swimming locomotion, search for our swimming blend space, connect it on here, and then just go and plug in our speed variable that we have, that we always use. And now we can go back and just connect this through transitions. So we can just go ahead and make a transition from here to here and then from here to here. So what we need to do is go and create a new variable, which will be if it's swimming, right? In this case, from the unarmed locomotion into the swimming locomotion, so the one that goes like that will be just if swimming is true. And then we'll have the one which is the opposite from swimming to an armed locomotion, which of course will be the opposite so it will be a not boolean so it will be if it's not swimming and now we can just compile this and just save and then go to the van graph and make sure that we update the swimming value so we can just go and we have a whole bunch of different things let's create a new ping and just go up into set swimming and then just get our um we should have our character, there we go. All right. And we just want to basically get is swimming, right? Our uh, variable and fitting, fit it in. And now with that said, ideally, if we right click, play from here, as you can see now, <laughs> when we enter in the water, we are, you know, indeed swimming. 
and there's a few things that we have to basically change um, the first thing is that when the feet are kind of close to the ground they will kind of want to um, align for many reasons okay uh, that's because of the foot IK. So we have to disable that when we are swimming. So let's go back to the IBP, go back to the main and name graph. And now, as you can see, we have the control break. That's for all the stuff of when, you know, we are with the foot IK and we want to add a new uh, pin over here. And it will be if we are not swimming. All right, so not Boolean, plug it in. And now that should be basically fixed. So if we go and just press play from the edge over here, we'll go, as you can see, we'll start to swim with our animations and everything. And if we stop slowly, it will go back to the idle. Now, as you can see, it takes a long time to stop. So just go back to the third person character, select the character movement component, and let's search for swimming. And now we can change, you can see the swimming speed is at 300, that's pretty good. Now the deacceleration, let's put it something as 150, so you know, it will stop the, um, the swimming, right? And now with that, if we right click, play from here, go into the water, as you can see now if I stop swimming, it will stop way faster and it's more or less than we'll go into the idle swimming state so that's pretty cool i like how this is going ahead and looking but there's also another quick thing that i want to um, basically look at and it is going to be the um, the edge as you can see right now we can you know start swimming like pretty much when our feet touches the 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 lake and that's not really what we want so what we need to do is go to the water body lake and just in the parent with the parent selected just go with I, I believe it was offset and now as you can see we have the collision height offset and we can just put a negative number I don't know how much let's try with minus 50 maybe it has to be more maybe a bit less and we just of course once again we just need to move uh, the thing control Z to put it back in place play from here and then just go and you can see that's a bit better. Maybe it should be a bit more, right? So maybe like uh, minus, uh, I think 60 would uh, do the job, right? And I know that we have this issue where every time that we update this changes, I don't know why, okay guys, it's things of uh, unreal. But let's play from here. And now we can just go to the water and that's way better. And maybe even I would say um, a bit more, right? So even, uh, let's go with minus 70 uh, because it has to be that we are more in the water. But overall, this is looking pretty nice. So let's uh, move this, Control Z, and just uh, play from here. There we go, go ahead and go to the water and that's way better, there we go. And now, of course, we cannot also, you know, fly into space because we will go back to the walking and then go back to swimming, but we can also exit. So that's it for this tutorial. If you found it helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 videos and tutorials, so make sure to check them out. The private files will be available in my Patreon YouTube members. Join my Discord server, follow me on socials, and now, yes, for all I said, bye-bye.